Welcome. <laughs> we have no power. <laughs> to the Snowed In Podcast, I guess. I don't know. We'll fucking come up with a name for it. But our power's out for the second time this week. We are in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, the good old UP. Just got slammed with another, what, like, probably 16 inches of snow. Yeah. <coughs> in, you know, we had another storm, what, last Tuesday or something like that, our power was out for 33 hours, so, uh, yeah, that was, that was something for sure. Luckily, we have two fat dogs for heaters, so there's that. We do have two good space heaters, natural space heaters. (laughs) They require no electricity, and they might have gas. They definitely have gas. I can, I can check that off. Ugh. That sounds like a plow truck actually finally making it through here. Nope, some dude with a trailer. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Think again. Fuck. <laughs> uh, yeah, we haven't seen an actual city plow truck yet, but there's been residents out here with plows. And that's about the best we're going to get for right now. Yeah, when the township drops the ball, the locals will pick it up. This is only like... A five block by five block town, so there's not a whole lot of people out here. And that's like cul-de-sac blocks, not city blocks either. No, it's like a a town block, not a city block. Like a village. But we figured we'd start doing something while we're bored sitting here. I... I not much else to do. At least I've got a phone. <laughs> Which is, if the audio is a little wonky, it's because this is being recorded on a phone. It will be determined later if this is the last will and testament or a podcast, depending on how long our power is out. <laughs> yeah, I might I might throw some, like, I don't know, obituary type stuff. <laughs> if, you're, if you're hearing this, we got power back and we're able to upload it. <laughs> If you're if you're finding this on the phone, we didn't make it. <laughs> oh God! Don't mind that. <laughs> oh man. I guess we'll sit here in the dark, talk about absolutely nothing, and see how it goes. Yeah, we're just gonna kind of shoot the shit until hopefully our power comes back on. Could be ten minutes. Could be ten hours. Who knows? We shall see. I see somebody over there has got a light on the outside, but that might just be solar light, battery power, who knows. Oh, I don't even see lights coming from the dude with the generator, so I don't, he doesn't have lights, so. I don't see any, like, smoke coming out of any of these <laughs> chimneys or anything either, so their furnaces aren't on. Ugh. <sighs> Good old happy fun times. Oh, yeah. I don't see anybody else with any sort of light on except for that one person. I still smoke. Yeah. <laughs> That's the other thing is that I have no idea if the store is open. I'm going to have to walk up there at some point. That's going to be fun. <laughs> Unless these plows decide to get the fuck out of here. Or out here, that is. They won't. They won't. I don't know. It does seem like I seem to project a lot more than you have. Yeah. And that microphone, the I'm top. Just, I'm just naturally quiet, too. The top one might just not be as good as the bottom one. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Just like the cameras front facing. Cameras right, kind of right. suck more. I feel like they're the same microphone, though. You would imagine. I don't know. I've, I've learned to project my voice from talking into a microphone. Fairly regularly, so I've I've kind of gotten that as second nature. Yeah, one of my all-time favorite quotes is fucking, speak softly and carry a big stick. Big stick. (laughs) Big stick, a really big one. Like, if you can get it stained, polish it, maybe sharpen the one end of it, you're you're doing pretty good for yourself. Get a bunch of slightly smaller sticks and sell them, (laughs) but don't give them as big a stick as you. 
No, you can't be giving other people more fucking powerful sticks than you have. That's just bad business. Yeah, it's just a terrible business model. Never know. The world could turn out like fucking Fallout, only instead of bottle caps, we use sticks. <laughs> it's like, what is that? It's a stick. How many, how many branches is that worth? Whoa, branches. No, 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 That's no. A little high. No, no. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. They did give us a warning that it might be out for a little while on Sunday morning. Yeah, fair enough. They did. But it's still garbage. Yeah, it's 4.30 p.m. at the moment. And I was taking a nap when it went out, so I'm not exactly sure what time it went out. But... Yeah, I, I I woke up at, like, what, 1-ish or 2-ish? Just a little bit before I heard you moving around and yelled out to you. No. No, I got a text from a roommate, like, a little bit before noon, so I'm assuming it was out then. Oh, did they go out for them, too? No, I'm not sure. Maybe you just ask him, because he's, uh, seen that there's power out everywhere, and we're usually the first town to lose it, it seems. Apparently, <laughs> we, apparently we share, like, our power distribution with two, like, we're in between two bigger towns, and we're a tiny little town, so we just, like, feed off of theirs. So if anything goes wrong between them and us, we just lose power. We're essentially piggybacking off of their system. Yeah, we're basically daisy-chained off of them. And the lines and poles and everything out there, as far as I've heard, are, like, 60 years old. So, like, just a little windstorm will pretty much knock them out. And I wouldn't be surprised if there was a couple of trees came down with the high wind and took out a line or two. Oh, yeah. Because we had a shitty fucking wet rain snow right as the first storm was coming. So I'm not sure that probably fucked up a couple of things and got it set up for this fucking storm. At least this seems to be a way drier snow. It's not like... Yeah. I can I can see the power lines right now and there's not a single flake of snow on them. But... The other day, it was this wet, thick, heavy snow, and it was just piled on everything. It was heavy as fuck. <laughs> yeah, we'll make a store run here before too long. Yeah, I'm hoping power comes back on so we don't have to deal with owing them money. If they'll even do it for, for us like they did last time. Luckily, last time we went up there and they are like, yeah, we'll help you guys out. We're in there every day. It's not like they're not going to see us again. Right. And it's a little tiny mom and pop store. It's it's not any sort of, like, grocery store. Like, we literally live diagonally two blocks away. Yeah, it's it. they run it out of their house. Just like the sort of gas station we have. Yeah. Ran right. out of a dude's house. He's run right out of his house. That's the kind of youper living. <laughs> it's a small, quaint little mountain town. Even though there's not really a mountain. I mean, there's a couple of mountains around here. Not really mountains. I don't know. I call them bluffs. There's one way up yeah. in, in the Copper Harbor area. Uh, Mount. Uh, Brockway Mountain, Broccoli Mountain, whatever. <laughs> Broccoli Mountain. That's what I always say, Broccoli Mountain. Yeah. It's Brockway Mountain, but I like to call it Broccoli Mountain. That sounded like a plow truck. Mm-hmm. That kind of sounded like a uh, local plow truck, though. That didn't sound like a big fucker. Yeah. It could have been. Oh. Yeah, if it's in an area they didn't even bother to go to yes or the couple of days before, then it's gonna take a fucking while. Yeah, I have no idea. We called up earlier and they basically said they had no idea and they hadn't hadn't heard back from anybody and <laughs> shout out to all the people fucking doing that job though. It's oh, gotta yeah. suck. Yeah, anybody out working utility work in a blizzard like this is definitely 
earning their keep today. Yeah. I'm sure it's not an easy job. So I try not to bitch about it. But at the same time, this is how the winters have always been. Nothing's changed. It's not new. It's, they should be ready for this. They should have cut back. All the trees that are by lines, they should have trimmed way back. So if they fall, they don't even stand a chance of hitting it. Right. Granted, that's a lot of work. That is a lot of work. But you have to do what you have to do. There's, you can't just let it keep breaking like this. So plows are definitely going by. Yeah, there's multiple fucking bigger engines going by. He's still out there snow blowing his fucking driveway. Is the utility truck still out there? No. No, that was a utility truck with the plow going by. So. All right, so white pickup, green lettering on the side, orange plow. Yeah, that's probably. These are the details you need to know. They re- they ride. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> nice train wreck there, but <laughs> they ride. You know, uh, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm burning. She just decided to let it happen. <laughs> like you know what? <laughs> fuck it. I don't know. I gotta imagine though. Though I have it fucking up before too terribly long. Yeah, that's what I hoped about last time. And that, literally, no exaggeration, 33 hours it took to get power back. (laughs) Yeah. In a blizzard. Fuck. That was a cold night. Mm -hmm. You ever try to poop on a toilet that's about, like, 30 30, degrees? Yeah, I was just going to say, like, 30... (laughs) Well, it had to be, it was a little above. The water was frozen, <laughs> yeah. Or anything. Yeah. So, but it was like 42 in the house. It was pretty fucking cold. <laughs> we do have a stove we can use for a little bit of heat. We just gotta pretty much hang out in the kitchen. Which is fucking the coldest room in the house because it's... In bad shape, basically. It's an addition to the house. Broken windows. It's an addition to the house, and you can tell it's not insulated like the rest of it. Yeah. As soon as you walk in there, it's like a wall of cold air. It's just like walking upstairs, actually, up to where we are. (laughs) Like, as soon as you get towards the top of the stairs, even when the heat's running, you get up here, and there's just a wall, like a perfect... It's like a perfect wall. It's (laughs) boom. It's just cold. Soon as you turn on the landing to go actually up the last couple set of stairs, yeah. you just hit a cold wall. Yeah, as soon as you get to the landing, it's like bam. See what you're making me do, Upco? I'm gonna have to start a fire in the middle of my living room. We need to get a wood stove hooked back up in this place. Yeah. I'm gonna have to cut wood. Oh, just... Going to get it now would suck. Oh, yeah, getting wood right now would be fucking off. <laughs> I I spent an entire winter doing exactly that, and it's not fun. No. Like, I'm all for having chits and giggles falling out of camp, so I'd fucking chop up some wood, throw it on the fire, but... That's the thing, at camp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's fine. When you're at home... Shit sucks. And you have to leave to go tromp through fucking six feet of snow to cut down a tree and then cut it down, haul it up most likely a fucking big ass hill or around, you know, through other trees and rough terrain and shit. Throw it in the back of the truck, make another 15, 20 trips just like that. And then finally bring your first load of wood home. And it's like, yay, we have wood for, like, two days. Three days. Yeah, I zoned out at rough terrain. Yeah. <laughs> I don't blame you. That's that's the kind of fucking monotonous shit that it is, though. It's just like, it's like, I don't want to do this for the next fucking four months of winter. <laughs> but here, we don't even have the option of... Using wood heat. 
I've got a gas furnace. That, Shit, man. If, if, I w- if it was a gravity-fed furnace, it'd be just fine. It wouldn't even need powder to be on. But it's not. If I wasn't worried about it, like, melting and then pushing in our walls, I would just say throw all the snow up against the house. We'll make a giant igloo. That actually is a good way to insulate the basement, which is probably already well under snow oh. now, so. Oh, yeah. I went out there and shoveled a little patch for the dogs, and. It's like four and a half feet deep. <laughs> we were talking about, like, pa- packing up the snow along our deck because we don't have any, like, lattice work or anything there to keep the dogs out from, like, running under there and getting wrapped around the poles and it's just a hassle. So we were talking about, like, piling snow in front of the deck so it just blocks them off. I didn't have to do anything to accomplish <laughs> that today. Yeah, <laughs> I seen you shoveled a little, like, spot for him to run around down there. Yeah, and then I was sweating, and I, I was over. Done. <laughs> done. I was going to go out and shovel a path out to the car and start shoveling that out. I was like, you know what? I'm going to shovel it out, and the plow is going to come by and put it all right back. Great. So I might as well just wait until they're done making their rounds. And it was still in the middle of snowing a little bit. and Oh, yeah, it was blizzarding like again, a motherfucker. So it it would have got covered up again. <laughs> yeah, you finished the back deck, and then like 20 minutes later, there's already two more inches on it. <laughs> It's like, holy fuck. A like, grill has some pretty sturdy legs for being a little cheap to stand up on. Because it's got a bunch of snow on it and it hasn't crumpled yet. Yeah, it's got about two feet of snow on it. And, well, it was like 60 bucks. Yeah. It was, it's decent. It's alright. Nice little roll one. Yeah, it's, it's not a... It's just a regular old stand-up charcoal grill. The only thing we can really do is, like, go down and start up the fucking stove for some heat. That's about it. <laughs> Unless we figure out how to get that oven lit. I don't know how you got it lit last time, but I couldn't get it lit the other day. I don't know. I haven't turned it on. The only thing I can think of is, yeah, it has enough in the lines to just push through and then... Yeah, maybe if we light that up before we try lighting the actual stove. Or if we lit that up, we probably wouldn't have to put the stove on at all. No. Be a nice little heat box. Well, we can go try it. The struggle. The vibes! The vibes! It would uh, (laughs) probably be best to go try it while we still have some sort of light. Yeah, it's probably not a bad idea. But you know what? It ain't gonna look the best, but... <laughs> now we have video! <laughs> Woo! Now you can see us breathe. Yay! Yeah, yeah, now you can see our struggles and our absolute style of the kitchen, which I just don't, right? <laughs> this lovely... Look, all these stains it's are... It's G! <laughs> all these stains are original. Yeah, this is... This is Poutina, I'd like to call it. <laughs> Our power now, we gotta entertain ourselves somehow. We gotta call it a plague, but yeah, sure. <laughs> call it a plague. <laughs> uh, Poutina works. <laughs> Only sometimes, though, that bitch is lazy. Nobody's gonna get that. <laughs> Oh, maybe. Oh, I never put uh, new batteries in it. I let it run that whole, basically, 33 hours. It was basically going that whole time. So I was like, we'll pretty much squeeze whatever battery life we got out of it yet. Yeah, that's why I had to fucking change the battery in my flashlight, because I left it on all night. Oh, it's not magnetic. Or it is, but not. It is not enough. Just barely. You got a hook on it, don't you? Yeah, but I was trying to get it to point down. Ah. Cause uh. Yeah, it's gonna be. 
It's gonna be dark. Almost nothing. Real quick here. <coughs> Solomon Grundy want light. So it's this one squealing. What do you mean no sound detected? <laughs> I can see. I'm making sound. You should not be loud enough. It's working. Look. <laughs> <laughs> The 45 minute podcast, I would never watch that. I mean, you don't watch it, you listen to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't you fucking <laughs> throw facts at me. <laughs> I don't know, lots of people watch it though. If they've got it, oh, yeah. it would be. but that's gonna be kind of weird. Like, I'm fucking half 40 minutes in, I'm like, we got a video! Right. <laughs> Fuck it! Oh, yay! Hey, and that's it for the podcast, because our power just came back on. <laughs> well, hold your horses there. No, it came back on, and it's staying. No! <laughs> Stop talking. <laughs> swear to God, it's Jesus. I, cool. I will fucking be mad. <laughs> power uh, flipping like a motherfucker. <laughs> when it was nice and new... <laughs> I mean, there's no way you guys heard that, but I just heard someone run out their door and go, Woo! Open up the door and go. Get right. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Yeah, he thought twice about that. Oh, I can't do any uh, on the fly like adjustments. Yeah, it doesn't. Not, it doesn't seem like it. So your video is gonna be awfully blue here, guys. Blow deep. It's a oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little deep. <laughs> All right, come on, Biggie. He's like, hold on, I gotta pee on this tree quick. <laughs>